Stealth 2005. Lost $96 million This 2005 sci-fi Top Gun S tale boasted the early O-Rising stars Josh Lucas, Jessica Biel and Jamie Foxx with the Fast and the Furious director Rob Cohen behind the camera. Sounds like a solid action film destined for a middling but profitable future. With no real production problems to speak of, stealth crashed and burned on its own terrible merits. The Lone Ranger lost $98 million. The 2013 Western from Disney reunited the dream team of Gore Verbinski, Jerry Bruckheimer and Johnny Depp but the production ran into trouble. Costs escalated and the whole thing was nearly shut down before it was completed. When it finally hit cinema screens, The Lone Ranger was slammed by critics and shunned by audiences. Monster Trucks lost $115 million. Kids are problematic for the film industry. 2016's Monster Trucks was to launch a new franchise from Paramount. After the opening barely scraped over $10 million at the box office, the flimsy premise crashed. John Carter lost $122 million. There are only a few films to top this slice of Disney sci-fi from 2012 in terms of costs. John Carter's solid cast. Oscar-winning Andrew Stanton on directing duties didn't save it from a critical pasting and poor audience turnout. The Mars-based franchise failed to happen for Disney, who then decided to look elsewhere for their science fiction fix. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, lost $150 million. Warner Brothers were keen to kickstart a new franchise based on the Arthurian legend with actor Charlie Hunnam fronting, but this was not to be their sword in the stone. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword opened in the US to just $15 million and received a clonking 28% on Rotten Tomatoes.